Also today, marking eight years since 19-year-old Kyle Jobin was shot and killed at a convenience store in Lawrence. Now, despite the time, Kyle's family and detectives say they have not given up the search for answers. Fox 59's Courtney Spinelli shares their message tonight. I have to try everything I can. If I gave up, I'm giving up on my son, and I'll never do that. Since January 4th, 2014, Kyle Jobin's family and the Lawrence Police Department have been searching for answers. This is one of those cases that really sticks with you, even after eight years. Kyle made a quick trip to a Marathon gas station on 56th Street near I-465. It's the one spot on the parking lot where, at the time, video didn't cover it. He went back to his vehicle after going inside. That's when a witness told police they saw four people approach. Kyle. It appears that they may have attempted to rob him. They surrounded the vehicle, his vehicle, and they were kind of shaking the vehicle a little bit. Police say the witness ran to get help. By the time they got back with officers, it was too late. Kyle had already been shot, his cell phone was missing, and whoever shot him was already gone. Somebody out there knows something. They have information to share. Deputy Chief Gary Woodruff says police have pursued every lead trying to find Kyle's killer. You go through each day trying to focus on the positives, but you always hope that one day somebody will come out, someday you'll get that phone call and it will say, hey, we found him. Kyle was studying at Vincennes University at the time of his death in hopes of working towards a career in land survey management. I can't help it if I drive by, I see a land surveyor out there and I go, hey, <laughs> that's what Kyle could have been doing. And with each calendar year that passes, the family's fight for justice has only grown stronger. You just can't give up. You can't. Reporting in Lawrence, Courtney Spinelli, Fox 59 News. As always, police say no tip is ever too small. If you know anything that could possibly help in this case to help them find the killer, please call Crime Stoppers. You can do so anonymously. That number, as always, 317-262-TIPS.